So you can see on the plans that both plans are at slightly different heights. We're going to correct this using the hood height function. Okay, so to start, we're going to go into the settings. I'm going to put in our password, serve GCR. And that's going to take settings. We're going to scroll down till we see hood height. So we can see hood height, we're going to press start. We're going to do this to all of the controllers and we're going to put every lane on this grill in hood height calibration. So you can see the plant in position now and we'll do the same on the other lane. So serve GCR and return. So as we go in, see hood height and we have them both in the same point okay stop it go so with both controllers in hood height we're going to put go into plant and position and we're going to set them both at 4500 what we'll see is the plans in the top will now both should both be in the same point so as we look up we can now see there's quite a difference to ensure we don't hit the kill switch, we're going to take the grills and we're going to bring them all to match the lowest platen. Okay, that should stop us having any accidental error sixes where we've hit the overrun switch. Because the left, the right hand lane was the highest, we're going to bring that down to match the left hand lane. So we're going to take a guess at the number and I think we're going to try 4,400. Okay, if we look up, we can see there's still a big difference, so we need to try a lower number. So we're gonna go back to the controller and we're gonna try 4,300. As we now go back up, we can see that that's slightly lower than the left-hand lane. So we now know that we need to go slightly more than 4,300, but not as much as 4,400. So we're gonna take a guess and we're gonna say 4,000 320 okay if you look up that didn't make much movement at all but it has made a small amount when we look at the screen you'll see that we have plat and set position 4320 but current position is only 4308 like when we done gap calibration you should make these in large movements and then back to where you want so it may be 4,320 is perfect. So we're gonna make an exaggerated move. We're gonna bring it down to 4,500 and then we'll go back up to 4,320. Now watching the current position, this should now be a lot closer. So it's now 4,323. When we come back up, you can now see that that's nice and accurate. For that reason, we don't use the arrows. This is why we use the steps and we go up and down. Once we're happy with that, and that's probably as close as we're gonna get, we're gonna to come to the controller and we're gonna end calibration, followed by, uh, sorry, we're gonna apply calibration. So calibration applied and now end calibration. We're gonna to have to do the same on the left-hand platen. So apply calibration, calibration applied, end calibration. This now means that when both our grills are in the up position, they're now consistent and it now looks properly as it should for the customer.